Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm feeling a little bit better, so I wanted to go ahead and film my April favorites. Um, I have a few this month, and there's a couple different categories, I would say. I think it's pretty well-rounded and all that good stuff. So yeah, I'm just going to keep this short and sweet. Let's get right into it. First item I want to share with you this month that I've been totally obsessed with was introduced to me by a friend last month, but I picked it up for myself, and it is so good. This is the Dove Dry Spray in the original scent. And the only thing I can complain about this is the fact that it sprays out white instead of like clear. That would be the only thing I don't like about this. The scent lasts a long time, it keeps you dry and sweat free for a long time, and I like how it's sanitary too because you just spray it on, you're not actually coming into contact with it all the time, so yeah, I really like this stuff. And they have a few other scents if you're not into the original Dove scent, but I definitely recommend trying these, they're really good. Continuing with the theme of like body care hygiene, I have a three product set here of shampoo, conditioner, and a hair mask. These are the Frederick Fakai Technician Color Care Shampoo, Conditioner, and Hair Mask. I got these in a set at Target during their clearance sales. I got it for about $12, it usually retails for about $18. And I bought it because I wanted to try another high-end, um, like, color-protecting shampoo line for my hair when I got it redone the next time I did. And I started using this once I got my hair redone there after exams ended. So I've been really loving this. This is so good. I like how um, the shampoo has a really nice scent to it. It lathers well and I find it's very moisturizing. Sometimes shampoos can be a bit stripping of like oils and that kind of stuff, but I find this really keeps the moisture in your hair. And the conditioner, um, it's a good medium, I don't want to say coverage, it's like a medium conditioner in terms of thickness and like how much moisture it puts back into your hair. And I also really love the uh, the mask because this is a great weekly treatment to use and the other thing I absolutely love about these products is the fact that they smell amazing. They uh, claim to have grapeseed oil in them which I think is what makes them smell so good because they have this kind of sweet but not too sweet scent. Um, it's a nice change from things like coconut and vanilla and all that kind of stuff but it's still suits my personality, I guess. So these are really nice. I definitely recommend you try these. Next, I have a hair care product to share with you. This is the Aveda Smooth Infusion Naturally Straight Smoothing Balm Cream something. I don't know. This stuff is actually really nice. I received it in my March top box and I was a little skeptical at first because the previous Aveda product that I used absolutely sucked. They sent me a hairspray in February and it was not good at all. So I was like, oh, this might be good, it might not be. Um, but when I tried it, this does make your hair dry straighter. Like it says, naturally straight. It does make my hair dry straighter. I like the scent of it. It's nothing offensive or strong or gross, like the hairspray. And I also really liked how it smoothed my hair and prevented flyaways and frizz and that kind of thing. So if you're looking to try like maybe the full size of this product, it is good, I definitely recommend. This is a product that I've kind of forgot to mention the past two months. I've had this since February and I haven't mentioned it at all and I cannot believe I have not mentioned this. This is a fresh face mask from Lush and this is their cupcake mask for like uh, oily or acne prone skin. So the tub looks like this. I've used a fair bit of this. I've used it about three times this month and I'm almost done. I got a little bit left. It would be really sad when it runs out because you can't order it online, which sucks. But besides Glam Glow Clearing Treatment, this is the best face mask I have found for my skin. It's really good at calming down zits. I have a few going on right now and I found I just applied a bit of this onto it and it prevented them from getting bigger and it tones down the redness, gets rid of the excess oil on your face. And I also like how once you're scrubbing this off, it kind of has a bit of an exfoliant factor to it. It's not harsh, it's not like a scrub, but I feel like the bits of chocolate or whatever is starting to solidify and I find it helps really exfoliate and make your skin look really good. So if you haven't tried Cupcake, you need to try Cupcake. Next I have two nail polishes that I've been wearing this month. The first one that I wore was Fiji by Essie. It's a really bright pastel bubblegum pink and this is perfect for spring and summer. I find this complements my skin tone really nicely 
and it does a decent job of staying on. The other one I wore this month, I actually only took off yesterday, this is L'Oreal's Royally Reinvented. And this is just a really pretty darker lilac lavender purple color, and I really like this color. It has the perfect, like, tint of blue to it, so I find, again, flattering on my skin. <laughs> now moving into the good stuff, the makeup. The first makeup item I have is a foundation that I received for Christmas. I ordered it through Sephora. This is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus Mattifying Foundation in the shade number 25, Warm Ivory. This stuff is really great if you have oilier skin. It's the perfect consistency, it still gives you good coverage, but it's not gonna make you super oily and shiny throughout your day or your evening, depending on when you're wearing this. This is the foundation that I used in my Get Ready With Me video I posted previously, so I'll have that link down below if you wanna see it. And I applied this, and this stayed on all night. It just goes to show how well the staying power is, and even though I was dripping in sweat at one point, this did not budge. So this is an excellent foundation. I definitely think you should try this if you haven't already and you have oily skin like me. Next item, actually the rest of the items are from that video too, but they're really awesome and they're kind of new to me. So the first one um, for my eyes was actually a pressed pigment from L'Oreal. This is the L'Oreal Color Infallible Iridescent Finish. I call them pressed pigments because that's kind of what they look like because they come in these little clear square jars and when you open them there's a little cap um, that prevents the, the entire product from falling out it gets to help push it down so it reminds me of like a pigment in terms of the iridescence and the shininess and the pigmentation of it but it's just pushed down into the container just so it's a little less messy anyway I really liked the color of this this is uh, number 21 Sahara Treasure and it gives the most beautiful lid pop of color and pop of shine and it stayed all night. Next I have a mascara also from that video. This is the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara in black. Jet black. <laughs> um, this has a really big brush on it which kind of scared me at first but once I started using it I actually have come to really like it because I really like the formula and the way it separates my lashes and lengthens them. So yeah, if you're looking for a new one to try, it's pretty good. Last but not least, I have a lipstick because, we, you know, we just can't have a favorites video without a lipstick. This is also from that video. It was the one that I wore out that night. This is the Maybelline Creamy Matte Lipstick in the shade Faint for Fuchsia. This is really similar to a color I tried on in Calgary in the Mac store, but I chickened out and I didn't buy it. So when I opened this one and swatched it again when I got home, I was like, hmm, you know, that kind of looks like that MAC one that I had um, on my lips when I was in Calgary. So I decided to pick this up because it's very similar. It's kind of like a, um, a fuchsia. It's kind of a bright hot pink fuchsia, but it's got that blue tone to it. Apparently blue tone was a theme this month. <laughs> but yeah, I really like it. It doesn't make your teeth look too yellow and it stays on well. I only had to reapply it once that entire night. Anyway guys, that is everything. That's all my favorites for April. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know down below maybe what your favorite products were this month. If you did a video, leave that down below so I can watch it. And I will be back with an empties video soon because I have a lot of empties and I really need to get rid of those. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.